Hi friends, the next story I have for you is called The Pow Wow Day. The author is a Native American woman from the Cherokee Nation. Her name is Tracy Sorrell and the illustrator is Madeline Goodnight. River, wake up, Amber whispers. My eyes are open. Today is Pow Wow Day. Then I remember, no dancing, no jingle dress competition for me. Not at this tribal powwow. I wish my hair weren't still so short, I sigh. Mama lays out the moccasins that match my dress. But everyone wants to see you, Amber reminds me. Why can I dance like I could before I got sick? Oh, but you will dance again, she responds. I stay silent as daddy drives to the powwow grounds. I usually savor the scents of sage and sweet grass, but not today. The breeze prickles my skin and I'm tired already. Daddy arranges our chairs near the family drum. Mama squeezes me close. Doing okay? I nod, but I'm not. I watch my friend Dawn get ready to dance. No, I'm not okay. Then the powwow begins. As the MC calls, time for the grand entry, stand up. Gentlemen, remove your hats. My uncle strikes a large drum together. Bam, bam, bam. They sing, ay ya ay ya way ya ya I make a decision. At least I can dance grand entry. Are you sure, Amber asks? Yep. Grandpa leads with the eagle staff. Other warriors carry flags into the arena. Badum, 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 badum. Elders head up the long line, oldest to youngest, traditional fancy grass and jingle dresses. Dawn squeezes my hands. We wait with Amber and the other girls to dance into the arena. My feet stay still. I can feel the drum's heartbeat. Amber grabs my arm. Are you okay? She leads me back to our seats. Everyone dances and moves around the circle, all connected to the drum, Mother Earth, and to one another. Everyone, Amber, Dawn, and our cousins, our friends, everyone but me, I watch through wet eyes. After grand entry, Elder prays that our dances honor the creator, that our culture and our language will stay strong and that healing will come to those who need it, like me. I rise and join the intertribal dance, but I can't focus. Mama's steady hands guides me to my seat. The drum's heartbeat surrounds me, bam, bam, bam. I lean against daddy and watch the competitions. Traditional dancers move and draw me into their story. Fancy dancers twirl and ribbons whirl. Graceful grass dancers sway and weave themselves around the circle. The drum starts its beat inside me. Then the MC calls, girls jingle dresses head into the arena. For a second, my heart leaps, but I can't do, but I can't do the he healing dance today, even though I need it. Dawn says she'll dance for me. My heart swells as I see Dawn, my sis, our cousins, my friends, step and turn, graceful and fast, their feather fans wave, rows of cones, clink, clink, clink on their dresses. I sit up tall as they come close, judges move around the powwow arena and record scores, but the girls don't dance for the judges. They dance for the creator, the ancestors, the family, and everyone's health, including mine. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. I stand, I open my heart, I feel the drum fully now, and then I know that I will join them at next year's powwow and that I will dance again. The author of the story gives a lot of background information on what is a powwow, and she talks about all the different terms she used, like MC and grand entry, and all, talks about all the different dances. Um, one of the things the author uh, wrote about is that you typically don't see a lot of picture books written about Native Americans. And this is true, I know, in a lot of the research that I've done. And so that was the reason she wrote this story is to hopefully get more picture books written about her culture and being a part of the Cherokee Nation, which she is so proud of. Until next time, explorers.